So today we'll be learning how to find the solution to a PD of this form. So when you have a PD of this form, it can also be written as um so the reason it can be written of this form is know that the grad there just stands for the gradient operator, which in this case in two dimensions, so it's giving us del del x and del del y so that means the grad of u be equal to del u del x then comma del u del y and also know that the dot product of these two will give us it should give us a del u del x then plus b del u del y so this is same as a u x plus b u y which is equal to zero so you, i hope you can see that this is the same as our equation we have here so that's the reason why you write it in this form now after you write it in this form you know this is a first order pd and this particular equation can be solved using two different methods so the method of characteristics and the second one is the method of change of coordinates so in this lesson we will learn how to use the method of characteristic to solve this then in our subsequent lessons we will learn how to use the method of change of coordinates so with the method of characteristic Um, what we do is that So let me write the equation down So the method of a characteristic what we do is that we get An ordinary differential equation to characterize this particular PD. So The ordinary differential equation we get of this form dy ds equals b over a where the b and the a are just the coefficients here So when we get this then we solve for y so you know this is an OD. So this OD characterizes this particular PD. So when you are solving for our y, you can guess how the y will be equal to b over a dx. Then when you integrate both sides, we get y will be equal to b over a x plus c. And when you decide to make c the subject, we can have a y will be equal to b x plus a c. I know that since c is an arbitrary constant, a c is the same as c. So that means you have a y here is equal to b x plus c. When mix it the subject, have c is equal to a y minus b x. So this is c. But mostly we let c be in this form. So that means we have to manipulate our c here to get something of this form. So when you multiply it by negative one here. We have minus c will be equal to minus a y plus b x. But note that because c is an arbitrary constant, minus c is the same as c. Then that means here we have c is equal to we write b x first minus a y, and we have it in the form that we wanted it to be. And when we have a p d, we said that the solution is just an arbitrary function. So this arbitrary function represents is by f of c, where in this case our c is b x minus a y. So that means when you have a p d of this form, the general solution to it is this particular relation here. So let's take an example. An example is that we should solve this particular PD. So we have 2ux plus 5ui equals 0. And we are given an initial condition u of 0y equals sine y. So using a method of characteristics, sorry. So we know when you compare it to this equation. Our a is 2 and our b is 5. 
So we have dy dx will be equal to 5 over 2. So we get this particular OD which characterizes the PD we have here. Then when you are solving for y, we have y will be equal to 5 over 2 dx. Sorry, dy. Then when we solve this particular one by integrating, we have y will be equal to 5 over 2 x plus c. In mixing the subject, we have c is equal to y minus 5 over 2 x. So that means that our general solution u of x, y is equal to f of c, which is equal to f of y minus 5 over 2 x. So this is our general solution to the PD we have there. It is very easy, yeah. So we're given an initial condition that u of y zero is equal to sine y. So when we put our initial conditions into our general solution, we get a particular solution. So when you put the u of zero y, here we are going to get just f of y, and this will be equal to sine y. So that means that our particular solution will be u of x y will be equal to sine. Now instead of the y, we put a function here. We put um, y minus 5 over 2 sine x. So y minus 5 over 2 x. Sorry. So this becomes our particular solution to the PD that we had in the above equation. Thank you. So that's how to solve this PD using the method of characteristics.